Shows might be so high for a period of the river, you don't run into alligators. You want to do that one? Yeah, let me break it into a couple of parts. One of the reasons I really got introduced or interested in the Winklacoochee River is because you don't have many rivers in Florida with white water. Okay. And oh yeah, the Winklacoochee, you betcha, has some nice white water on it. Um, Probably the furthest north is at Rocky Ford, down out from Fayetteville, which is actually the one place that, on the river that's rated as a class one. That's really, water has to be up, and it's nasty looking. I've been through there, but believe me, it wasn't that class one. Uh, I it was so low when I went through there, I was just mainly trying to get around the rocks. At the Florida-Georgia border, there a nice long shelf that's real fun to run. It's about a class three, easy enough. Um, and then all the way down, you've got little uh, shoals and so forth. And the last one is known variously as Marvin Shoals or Melvin Shoals. It's about two miles above the confluence with the Swanee. And it's a beaut at just about any water level. Uh, Melvin Shoals uh, also puts the lie to anything you read that there was steamboat traffic on the Wicklacoochee. <laughs> no steamboat, could, unless it could climb a hill, could go up Melvin Shoals. Uh, it's covered only at uh, flood stage, and then your steamboat would alligators on the Wicklacoochee. I've seen them. Uh, there's a big one up here around Valdosta. I've only seen the pictures. But there's a big one somewhere up in here. Um, Florida actually allows alli uh, licensed uh, hunting on the Wicklacoochee. I think the limit totally, only five per year can be taken. I don't think any should be uh, the banks of the Wicklacoochee don't aren't, you know, you get down in Florida, the high sand banks 30 feet high, or you've got the lime rock cliffs. Um, so it's not real good habitat for alligators. Um, but up in here, uh, you've got the swamps. It's just the further north, the colder it gets and so on. But yeah, there's alligators. The nature of the river changes as you go south. Up in here, you've got coming together in swampy land, you've got a lot of volcanic waters. You get down into Florida, especially below Panetta or below Madison Blue Springs, you've got significant influx of spring water, so it gets much clearer, it's a much different 